Hello and welcome to Let's Talk CNAs, a show for CNAs by CNAs. I'm your host Wendell and this is my lovely co-host Angel. Hello and we are here at the Wave Studio in Phoenix, Arizona. Yay, yay. And to welcome to Let's Talk CNAs, it's the Phoenix Takeover. Jack of all trades, you guys. So, you know, so I do a lot. I, you know, I have four kids, and uh, I've been a CNA for uh, 31, 32 years. Uh, I'm originally from um, Texas. I've been living in Arizona now for uh, 17, 17 years. Um, also been working for the same facility. Uh, Maravilla Care Center for 17 years. Maravilla. Maravilla in the Hiles. <laughs> I don't know. What else can I say? Uh, I'm uh, chairman of the board for NACA, the National Association, National Association of Healthcare NACA. Assistants. Woo, woo, NACA. Uh, oh, and by the way, while I'm speaking of that, I would like to take this time out to uh, welcome Matt Cant Cantrell uh, to the family. He's, okay, welcome. Yeah. 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 Uh, we welcome just had Matt. a press release for Matt. Uh, he's going to be our new um, CEO. So uh, congratulations, Matt, and I do look forward to working with you. All right. Um, also, as you know, uh, I started this show, the Let's Talk CNA Nation. Um, that's, a, uh, I believe, a quick summary of me. <laughs> what are some hobbies you like to do while you're not filming the show? Well... This is something nobody knows about me. Well, I ain't even know this about me, but <laughs> most people don't know this about me. I love to cook. I love to cook. And my favorite thing is to bake. I love to bake. That's that's one of my favorite things to do. Hey. I love to cook too, so that means we need to one day have a show, a cooking battle. <laughs> The battle, like yeah, that. like have a battle, like <laughs> battle of the okay, whole We're gonna make some fried chicken, <laughs> so we're gonna make the fried chicken. <laughs> say, who's just the best that has a taste test? We're gonna do it like that. Go ahead. But that's 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 one of my that's one of my hobbies. That's one of the things I do when I'm not doing it. I I just love to cook. Just love to cook and bake. <laughs> I used to like to play dominoes, but hey. Nobody play dominoes anymore. You do. You need to get <laughs> they out don't play, more. They don't play Southern dominoes in Arizona, y'all. Trust me. They do not. I've been here 17 years, and I've yet to run into anyone that played 
selling dominoes. I don't know what they call these dominoes. Like, yeah. That's a challenge, you guys. You hear him? <laughs> he said nobody plays. Come There's somebody it. out there Come that plays Southern it. dominoes. <laughs> So y'all I got better... this trophy, that trophy, that trophy, this hey. trophy, that trophy. Come on, let's go, let's do yeah, it. That's, that's <laughs> one of my, my hobbies. I, I really like to cook. I like to make my food look pretty and everything. And, you know, I was thinking about doing a cooking show real quick or something. <laughs> but, um, I, you know, I like I like karaoke, you know, play pool, even though I don't know how to play pool. I like to do everything <laughs> I don't really know how to do. <laughs> what else? Bowl. I don't really know how to do all that stuff well, but here. I do my hair. So that's, that's something I like. See, that's to good you letting them know that. Yeah. Shoe shopping. <laughs> I love shoes. <laughs> purses. I like purse shopping. <laughs> my closet is pulled up with all kind of shoes. And I like to travel. I like to go different places. It's probably other stuff I like to do. Uh, yeah, I love shoes. and Hopefully I can go to Jamaica this year. <laughs> what inspired Lex Talk Age? Oh, wow, that's another good question, huh? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I became a member of, of, of NACA, again, the National Association of Health Care Assistants. NACA. <laughs> NACA, way to go, NACA, uh, in 2009. And NACA has always been an association that was about um, professionalism, um, trying to... Uh, show CNAs that they're more than just CNAs. They are the people, uh, person that people look to uh, in the healthcare industry, especially long-term care. So I wanted a way to to be able to reach out uh, to even more CNAs. So uh, one day that thought just came to my mind, which it was originally called Knocker Talk. Mm-hmm. Um, and then um, when Angel joined the, um, joined the team, we eventually changed it to Let's Talk CNAs uh, because we wanted to be able to address, to let CNAs know that we was addressing them. So that was that was my that was my inspiration uh, for Let's Talk CNAs. Well, what inspired me to be a part of Let's Talk CNAs is um, Windows Facility uh, Miravia Care Center came to our facility at Coronado Healthcare and they teamed up with our uh, NACA leadership team, and he they showed us the vision of NACA Talk. So we all had a meeting, got together, and uh, here we are with Let's Talk CNAs because we are the ones there taking care of your loved ones, and we're there when nobody else is there. We're there at their intimate moments, so we need to have a voice, and we also have a voice for our uh, our loved ones, for our uh, disabled and um, Elderly and frail, yeah. so and also our, our, our mental, uh, our behavior uh, uh, residents as well. Um, you know, someone has to be that voice, and that's what we fight for all the time. Um, Got to be that advocate. Our show. Yeah, to be that advocate. advocate for the show. So it's, it's it's very inspirational. It's a very inspirational show. Uh, I think we're very efficient with the things that that we produce, our content within the show. Yes. Um, so and we is. know our stuff. <laughs> so, you know, we're not just up here just playing around. We do research and we, we want to make sure you get the right information mm-hmm. on your profession. So, Do you have a favorite episode? Uh, you want to go first? Go ahead. Well, for me, I think, well, I don't think my favorite show actually was... Uh, uh, the first male CNA show that we did, which was uh, Compassionate of a Male CNA. That was my favorite show. We, but these guys spoke so much from their heart about uh, uh, being a male and being in the profession that they're in, you know, and how they, uh, uh, you know, just, just wanted to be uh, looked at as, as great workers, not as someone as a as a worker that was just there for their strength, but there for their for their hearts, and and that also, uh, if you go back a question or two, is another great thing that I think that um, that that we we that help inspire. Let's talk CNAs because we developed the uh, uh, male CNA of the year award right. uh, program based on based on. And what's that the show. name of the award? Uh, the name of the award is the Wendell Anderson Male CNA of the Year Award. 
and we're actually going into our what fifth, sixth year for that award or somewhere yes, like that. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. So that was my favorite show. What about you? Well, mine, um, my favorite show. Oh my goodness, it was so amped up when we did the show at uh, in Iowa. And um, oh. when we did the show, Wendell wasn't there, oh, so yeah. I had to take on the the host. <laughs> so it it was like, and and I had um the uh one of the bad girls, you know she she had to do be my co-host, but at the same time she had to still be one of the bad girls. Yeah. So that was something tricky for her too, but um it was just it was like five to six hundred people there yeah. we were on stage in front of everybody <laughs> and it was just like you know when you go to the conferences you know i love the knocker conferences but sometimes you know you get some you know people up there speaking and you know might fall asleep you know kind of a little bit but i was looking at everybody faces and they were like like oh my goodness this is something different yeah. it was something different we were actually doing our show on the stage and we were doing with the steering commission yeah. so for naka so they they did an excellent job thank you you know so how about a favorite skit oh which one was our favorite skit oh that's a good question i don't i think i, I think the uh, uh uh our favorite skit i think matter of fact it, it, we did it at birdville kitchen and i think we was uh we were trying to show teamwork. I think that's that's what the show was on teamwork. Uh, that show that was that was so awesome. That was that was like one of the the best one that that we did. I, I wish I could I wish I could show that to you guys right now. <laughs> that was a good skit. Yeah, uh, about all about teamwork. All about teamwork. Yeah, that was my favorite favorite skit. I don't know. I you know I don't know. I liked all of them. I'm trying to think which one I really, I don't know. I like the toilet paper one. <laughs> the toilet paper. And they was in the vending machine or whatever. Like, oh, trying to yeah. steal the vending oh, machine. Yeah. Trying to come to the conference. <laughs> and yeah, they was trying to go to the conference. And then she had on the, they had on the, they was in the jail uh, outfits. And it said, turn your other way or something. Oh, my goodness. It was so cute. Do you have a favorite guest? We have a favorite guest. Um, I think I did. I think I think I was excited uh, to have uh, Dr. John McCain. He gives good info. He gives direct info. And he's yet to tell me anything wrong. So finally, after four years, they had finally had him have him as a guest on the show. I was I was very excited. Gentleman uh, uh, Tyron Wakefield. Mm -hmm. Is, is that Falls? I'm, I'm just jacking your name. I'm sorry, Tyrone. We know it's Tyrone. <laughs> yeah, he was. We're gonna I, call you Tyrone. Okay. <laughs> but he, you know, he really, you know, we went to the the sickle cell meeting that they had, you know, the the week before that we did the show with them, and he came and he learned a lot. He, you know, he he did his research, and I mean, he's not like a professional professional. He was just somebody that was going through this. That's somebody that is going through it. So, you know, when I go on his Facebook page, I see, like, you know, all of, like, everything he talks about sickle cell, what he's going through, what others can do to, you know, how they're going to deal with it. And he's showing himself while he's going through it. And, and it's like, wow. How has seen these helped seeing these in the health industry so far? Well... You know, again, our show is, is a show for CNAs by CNAs. And so every show that we do is a stride to help uh, CNAs in the healthcare industry. Uh, you know, we don't have as many CNAs on the, on the show as we would like. But for the guests that, that we do have on the show, uh, our purpose for having them on the show is because they're in that position to say... Uh, to, to say to the CNAs, this is what we're looking for uh, for you from you as a professional. But we we respect you, so don't ever think that we don't respect you. We respect you, and I know that your job is difficult. Matter of fact, I think uh, Leslie, she was our occupational. She's a uh, I should say a speech therapist. She said it best when we had her on the show. You know how much uh, CNAs really really mean because. 
uh, being that that you are that front line and you actually see whether or not see this neighbor or resident on an everyday basis. So you see that they're having difficult or struggling to uh, chew certain types of food, texture of food or certain uh, texture of, of liquid. So uh, she said it best, you know, that's what makes us so important because without us, you know, they, they wouldn't be able to do their job. So I feel, you know, again, I feel that uh, because we do the show, we're, we're showing and, and we're trying to demonstrate, you know, every time we do a show, these are the, the strides that we're taking to uh, uh, help CNAs in the, in the healthcare industry. And then um, we also are, we have a really big influence on the, um, the healthcare industry. So, you know, even with uh, the Arizona Healthcare Association, you know, they may reach out to us and be like, hey, can you reach out to the CNAs? Because we know you guys have influence. Mm -hmm. And um, and then uh, also what our shows, they're, they're informational, they're educational, you know, to where people will uh, want to use them as an in-service, mm -hmm. you know. So they're, they're really good to be used as an in-service and to learn. And, you know, you probably do some questions and answers with them and, th and there you go. But, um, but yeah, our, our, our show is really... It's, it's, it's to influence our CNAs to help them to want to to want a voice what they're talking about. How much has the show changed since the first episode? That's a that's a good question. I mean, because a lot yeah, of changes. yeah, it's a it's a lot of changes. <laughs> yeah, because when you look back when you look back on the show, and I think I said this earlier. Like it used to take us four to five hours to Power. do, yeah, <laughs> to do like like you know, a 13-minute show, but we all was learning at the same time, you know. And when you look at the shows back then, and you look at the shows now, it's like those shows was done in 1978, and these shows is being done right now in 2000. <laughs> it's such a big difference, but I think the, the, the thing that I learned the most uh, from of it is, is how to connect more with, with the with my uh, viewers. And you know, it, it, to me, it's changed a lot because we've changed, we've learned a lot, we, we've been a part of different associations, we've been in, you know, in, uh, what, what should I say, higher positions from then. And, um, and also our lady, our camera lady, Devin, Shout out, I shout like out. It, <laughs> like she came along, but when she first came, you know, she was new to it, we were all new to it. But, you know, now it's like, you know, like she put in her work through her editing, all that stuff is like just awesome, phenomenal. And she comes up with all these awesome ideas. So I want to just give a shout out to Devin. And tell her to quit hit us with that whip. <laughs> when do you see Let's Talk Scene in five years? Oh, five years from now? I, I really want to see Let's Talk Scene you know, on top of the world. I mean, I want to say I'm on top of the world. I mean, take over the world. Yeah, I mean, we deserve it. We deserve it because we have worked hard um, on this show. Uh, we have collaborated again with with Naka um, on CNA TV. Um, so go on and, su and subscribe to that. Uh, you'll find us there also, as well as uh, the Let's Talk CNA channel. Uh, but uh, yeah, we we plan on. on um, pushing and, and, and uh, uh, the show and, and just hopefully you know uh, we can reach that goal of, of being on uh, public television uh, that's something that we really look forward to and, and being national you know that's right. really something that we and international because <laughs> we are international you know when you go online when you're on Facebook and all that and YouTube is in everybody in the world can see it so you know but you know, I see us like, you know, reaching all kind of uh, healthcare professionals. Like, you know, we'll probably have our show in the hospital, like on one of those screens that you see where in the doctor's office. Where you wait on the doctor. Yeah, the doctor. Be up there like, hey, <laughs> you know, and, and it'll be like a household name, you know, so they they will know all about us, and you know that everybody will be wearing our T-shirts and things like that, and you know. I look forward to us doing like uh, 
a live show, you know, like, I don't know, I love Jerry Springer. I'm a Jerry Springer, you like, like, what's wrong with her? I, I love Jerry Springer. All the audience gets involved and everything, you know, so I can't wait for us to do something like that. Right, so, right, you know, right. and that'll be in the near future, so y'all just look out. What was your funniest moment? Oh, <laughs> and welcome to Let's Talk Sin. So French, French, so, so clean, clean. Boom. All right, and action. <laughs> Environmental Services Week this week. Yes. <laughs> and also, let's remember that. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna start out with the left. No. Again, thank you for being on You're the show. Welcome. All right. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right. So, did uh, they say religion? <laughs> Any last words? We're gonna flip the script. No. <laughs> Any last words? <laughs> These are good bloopers. That's my favorite one right there. <laughs> Action. Oh. Oh, you said, oh. <laughs> the objective of cleaning is not to clean, okay? Depends <laughs> <laughs> on how far you go. Did I fall or something? <laughs> 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 I don't know where that. Yeah. 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 We don't hear it. I don't hear Action. <laughs> okay. Thank you for being on the joke. Oh. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's go get in. So, Frank, wait a minute. That was another pub. Well, Angel, I would say we had another great show today. We sure did. Oh, okay. Any last words? Um, yeah, I think, you know, first I want to say, you know, this is our first show for 2019, so um, I'm really happy, you know, to be sitting here again in a new year doing this show. Uh, and I want to say, keep on watching the show, uh, keep on watching the show, and keep on watching the show. Keep watching, mm -hmm. and, and, and share it with other people. So that's, that's one thing about it. And then also I want to give a big shout out to Baby Phoenix for being our, yes, Baby Phoenix. Yay, yay. For being our little host of the show and, and making it exciting and fun. Everybody loves it when, when she's on and like, oh my goodness, she's so cute. She's so talented. Oh my goodness. So she, she really makes the show. I'm, I'm glad she's a part of it. You know, Devin, thank you for sharing her with us. You know, that's, that's just awesome. And um, I just want to let CNAs know that you are a professional. Remember that, professional. There was a cheer we used to do, because I'm a pro, P-R-O, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> so you just tell them like that, like, oh, that's how you do, no, that's what, uh-uh. I specialize in customer service, that's what you tell them. So, you know, as, as technology has been growing and, and things has been going like that, you know, we just still want to keep the, the level of customer service and caring as we're going through a different generation a different technology because sometimes it can get impersonal as a cna now because you're doing like computer work and all this stuff and you kind of lose touch of your residents and your patients so remember that you're there for the the patient you are a customer service uh, customer service agent you know and you and you keep your level of care so that's all I got to say, and keep watching. <laughs> Make sure your neighbors come first, your residents come first, and keep watching. Well, Wendell, we sure were on the hot seat today, don't you agree? We sure were, Angel, but that's okay. People got the opportunity to get to know Wendell and Angel. That's right. In honor of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., I would like to leave you with this quote. If you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But by all means, keep moving. Keep on moving, don't stop now. <laughs>
Keep on moving. Make sure to check us on Facebook and YouTube. And Instagram. And Twitter. And we would like to thank you for watching the show. And we'll see you next time on Let's Talk CNA, where knowledge is empowerment. Let's have a conversation. 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 Blooper. Right? <laughs>